morning. Today is a very exciting day. Actually, welcome back to the wedding series or the wedding diaries. What did I call it? Welcome back to the wedding diaries. Um, so today I am finally getting to try on wedding dresses. Um, I am a bundle of nerves. Also very excited. I have no clue what I even want, even though all along I said I wanted a certain style. Now that it's actually coming to it, I really don't have a clue, which I think is probably better because I can go in with like an open mind. But yeah, I'm going to take you along with me and hopefully I'll be able to vlog inside the shop, but I'm not sure because of obviously COVID regulations and stuff, but we'll see. So, come along. We are on the train en route to London. Um, we just had some breakfast. We have the whole carriage to ourselves, which is obviously ideal. I hope you can hear me with the mask on. Um, but yeah, when we get to London, we kind of have... Oh, yeah. <laughs> answer it. I'm going to be heading straight there, I think, when we get there, because it's about a half an hour from the train station. So, it's all a go. I'm quite excited, but I'm also ready to just get the ball rolling with it and try on some styles and see what I like and what I don't like but no, yeah, just having a coffee and another probably hour and a half left of the journey so I'll check in again in a bit and we're obviously on the way and I really hope I can take the inside of me that's the main thing okay so I hope you can hear me better because I had a mask on earlier and I don't think it was working whatsoever but yeah um very successful trip I am definitely in love with one of them like it was just kind of the moment that you always think of you're gonna have and so many people told which way are we going so many people told me i wouldn't have that moment but i did so i don't know what that means um but yeah i just feel very positive i now know what style i like um any like brides coming up anyone who wants some advice all i would say is just bring too many people with you because I think I really loved having just the small few opinions took some pictures sent it to my bridesmaids and it was just perfect um, a really calm experience and yeah I'm a bit like I'm a bit stunned I got McDonald's afterwards because your girl was hungry good morning guys um well this is definitely a few weeks later um basically the last thing you saw, I think, was me in London. Maybe on the way back, I'm not sure. Um, but it is a few weeks on, and I've had just a few weeks of getting things back to normal because obviously the UK reopened and just got obviously appointments and stuff and all that shebang. Um, but I just said I'd come on today because I am going for my second wedding dress shopping appointment. I'm going, um, I'm not going to London, I'm going to a place not far from me about 30 minutes from me it's called nutsford wedding gallery um i was recommended this place by a friend and i just said i might as well try as many shops as i can and have fun with it because the only time i'm ever going to get to do this um so yeah i'm going there today my appointment's at 11 so i'm leaving in about 20 minutes um so i actually wasn't going to go because i don't have anyone to come with me today um just my friends had appointments and i didn't want to be dragging them out and you know ruining their plans so I was gonna cancel and then I was speaking to Sean and he said well why cancel go and just experience it like you're not really gonna get basically obviously because I don't have my braids with I'm not getting the typical braid bridal appointment experience anyways so and I don't know if I will get to have that so I said I might as well go sorry oh my god the camera's falling sorry guys so I said oh, there goes jump um yeah i might as well go because i'm sure there's lots of other braids who'll have to do it by themselves and hopefully this can be like a good video with some good insight as to what it could be like i i know terry mcavoy went by herself and that's where she found her dress and she said it was actually a really good experience right so i am already um i lost my phone it was like really panicky um <laughs> yeah i'm gonna head out now i'm just looking for my glasses for driving like my actual sunglasses i can't find them anywhere it always happens to me Oh well, nothing I can do, but yeah, off I go. Hopefully I can vlog inside or just get even some kind of footage. Wish me luck. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart, what is it that you do? colors like the moon needs to 
Good morning. Um, so yesterday I cut off just, I actually don't even know where I cut off, but um, I did my appointment and had the best experience. Comparing it to like my first experience of wedding dress shopping, it was night and day. Like I felt like a bride in there. That's Sean talking to the dog. Um, yeah, it was just such a good day. Tried on loads of dresses. Loved them all, which I didn't expect to because they're very different to what I tried on originally. I really loved one. So, say hi. <laughs> um, so I'm going back down to London today to try on the first dress again and to look in their bigger store in Knightsbridge. So I shall bring you along. I'm just waiting in the car because Sean's getting his hair cut and where we're parked, we're not meant to be parked. I'm just waiting for the ticket guy to come around so I have to make a beeline to the steering wheel and um, basically try and speed off so he can't give me a ticket. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd come on and chat a little bit more. I wonder what it'd stay up here. Do you think it will? Yeah. Um, yeah, so yesterday was such a good experience because I know I was worried. Obviously, I had said that I was worried about going by myself and guys, it was literally one of the nicest days ever. Um, so I went in, I was obviously by myself, the girl couldn't have been nicer, honestly, like, was so helpful, I felt like she was excited for me, because sometimes you can go in and obviously they see so many braids that it's probably not even exciting for them anymore, um, this didn't feel like that, like, I felt like she was so excited, asking me all the details about my wedding, um, basically told her the styles I liked, and then this store focused more on fitted glitzy glam like you had a lot of birthed privé dresses in there a lot of enzoni a lot of pronovius dresses which i'd all looked at online um and had some saved but i feel like when you go in and see them in person it's a totally different ball game because what i chose off the rack is not what i was choosing on pictures which is weird so i went in um she the first experience i had i felt like i couldn't pick too many because they'd be like chill <laughs> so i think the first experience i picked like four dresses and then this girl literally let me she was like eight dresses went upstairs she it was just i can't describe it but i really felt like a bride like i felt like i was having a consultation the room was beautiful very girly just re like a really lovely experience and um, she helped me get into all the dresses i tried on two which i loved straight away and i had like a favorite of the two um i'm trying to remember off the top of my head oh, i thought that was the ticket it's not. um and then i did a bertha dress which i loved <laughs> um yeah so i tried on a, a dress and i absolutely loved it and it was i've seen it in pictures and i remember thinking is this very typical what you would expect me to wear um but i didn't care i put it on and i was like oh no i love it i loved it off the hanger and i loved it once it was on my body it was a little bit too big so we pinned it in which is quite hard to judge but i like that these girls didn't have clamps they used actual pins which i loved because you could actually see the detail of the dress um i tried it on it was i don't want to give it away it was there was something about it that I, I wanted to know if I could customise, um, and I can, which was obviously an amazing selling point for me. Um, I called my mom and my auntie was there luckily, and they loved it, and I hung up the phone and I cried. I cried! <laughs> I think it was a mix of emotions, but it was the best thing I did. I feel like it'll be the most memorable, probably, experience I'll have, because I feel like when you have people around you you're focusing on their opinion you're like are they okay are they bored am i taking too long felt like i was literally just looking at me the dress and what i thought of it and i was completely with my own thoughts and it was the nicest experience i had i would literally recommend to any bride even if you think you found your dress with people at an appointment try get in by yourself because you'll have a different experience and a different outlook on it and i loved it and yeah so today i'm going back down to london trying on the first dress again and i obviously will have people with me today so it'll be it'll be really nice to have that you know the complete opposite again so i'm trying on the same dress there's one other in the store that i 
didn't realize they had on the day and now I know they do so I'm gonna try that on and then I'm gonna to go to their bigger store in Knightsbridge which is apparently they just have a huge selection and I'm very excited Um, yeah I feel like today will be a totally different experience and it's nice just to have, make a day out of it because obviously when it, if you're from the the part like if I lived in London then it's just like going shopping but to me this is like a day out I have to get the train down we're gonna get lunch yeah I'm very excited I feel giddy I'm just gonna stop talking because there's someone and I'm just excited to hopefully get back soon and just have some bridal appointments in Cork because there's some beautiful stores there and I'll have bridesmaids with me and yeah it'll be it'll be making up for things that we didn't get with your normal wedding process guys I'm so sorry I haven't been on but I found the dress I've just said yes to the dress I haven't stopped crying all day so I can't keep talking because I'm gonna cry again but it was the best experience like <laughs> it's so exciting I'll come home and talk to you all about it later but I just wanted to pop on <laughs> hello I am officially the world's worst youtuber um but I've just been so busy since the last time I've come on um, I'm now back in Ireland in Cork and today I am going to try on wedding dresses with two of my bridesmaids um my two cousins obviously I would love to have all my bridesmaids there but at the moment you can only have two so I'm going to diamond bridal in Cork um, and I'm so excited because my cousin got her dress here and I remember when I went with her I just absolutely loved all their stuff so I'm so excited Um, I know I said yes to the dress already but first of all I didn't get a bridal experience like with my bridesmaids like I've constantly been saying and second of all I think I might need want a second dress. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, I just wanted to come on because I didn't really get to chat to you after my saying yes to the dress moment. But I was just literally on cloud nine and we just celebrated loads that week. And I just said, didn't want to end it there because I'm hoping today I can get like my cousins to record some of the dresses and just show more of like an insight to the appointment. Because on the day when I did get my dress, I literally didn't pick up a camera. I was... The most in the moment I've ever been um yeah so today I'm hoping I can show you more and yeah I shall take you along with me please ignore my hair I've just washed it you know it's like that poofy wash I've had that poofy wash but look it's fine and I've tried a new lipstick it's run away oh god that liner though wow it looks like I've just had chocolate and not rubbed it in I think for cameras guys <laughs> um but yeah, I'm just going to show you what I'm wearing. I've kind of been wearing the same things to all my appointments just because I just feel comfortable in them. So I literally have some paper bag jeans on from Zara. Um, if you're getting these size down, they're bloody huge. Um, just some Air Forces, white t-shirt and my cream blazer, my trusty cream Zara blazer. And um, yeah. Right guys, I'm with Taylor and we're on our way to the shop and it's just starting to rain and now I'm panicking because I'm going to have an afro by the time I get in there and I don't want an afro. <laughs> um, but I shall keep you updated. I lose my breath whenever I see you You stole my heart, what is it that you do? that you do 
I just wanted to finish off this vlog like now in real time and um, as I'm editing it I understand it's so um choppy I think it was just because it was videos from like over the months of trying them on like the last two months that I just really didn't explain things properly so I'm sorry about that I have gotten my dress I got it in London I got it in the wedding club um, which you'll see me say I said yes to the dress and then I went back to Cork and tried on dresses in some stores and went to Diamond Bridal which I'd spoken about and just every dress I tried on I was like oh I love this oh I love this so I decided that I would get a second dress um, just for like comfort really Um, I love to dance so I knew I needed something that was going to be easy to like dance all night in in the sun especially um so yeah, I had loads of fun with Grace, just trying on different styles and yeah, I'm just really excited for the next few months. I'm actually just back from Marbella. I went to see the venue and met the wedding planner and it's just all becoming so real. Like soon enough we're into the single digits, which is crazy. And I'm just, I can't wait. So yeah, I just wanted to come on and say I'm so sorry that it's so choppy and things aren't explained properly. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for my next video.